Back when I was uh, 17, I had a little run into uh, a drinking and driving accident and lost my license. I wanted to prove them that they uh, were investing in somebody that was worthwhile. I managed to get the, the program back, so I made it uh, my goal to do the best that I possibly could. In the equipment program, you get exposed to uh, various types of equipment and you get a chance to operate them. And then prior to that, you get a few weeks in the classroom learning about the industry, learning about first aid and, and traffic control. It was all a part of the uh, program. Out of the program, I got a job with uh, Peter Kewitt and Sons on the Portman project. I got a chance to run the equipment when a couple guys didn't show up to work. Then I got my shot and they kind of liked what I could do. And from there, I just kind of built a bit more experience. And then eventually I became full-time operator. Now I have my own company and uh, things are going uphill. It's got an undercarriage that has legs and wheels, so you can adjust it on all terrain. And uh, you can go up side hills, steep terrain, you can go down into uneven, environmentally sensitive. Uh, typical jobs for uh, myself, I, I get environmental where I have to go down into a ravine and, and maybe uh, fix a washout or uh, flush a culvert. And uh, it's in a residential area. I can go straight down the bank and do the work and then come back out with minimal disturbance. There's lots of guys I talk to all over the place. They're like, oh, you got an opportunity in high school. You know, guys pay, you know, $15,000 to do these courses. And, you know, it's being paid for by the, uh, the school district, and it's a great opportunity. If you want to grow up a little bit before the end of high school and, and seize this opportunity, you could be making a, a great wage at a high school. You could be doing really good for yourself right away. And if not, well, you might find another opportunity, but uh, if this is what you want to do, I'd seize it. My name is Josie Peters and I'm in the Health and Human Services Career Program at UFV. So it's kind of like I'm in these two different educational systems. I'm in high school and I'm in university. By the time I finish grade 12, I'll have a full year under my belt of university and it's all for free. It's really cool. I have like two university classes like twice a week for uh, two semesters a year. It's busy and you gotta really be dedicated, but it's really uh, paying off. Another difference from my university classes in high school is it's not all classroom work. It's not all writing and just hard work. It's also hands-on. You get to go visit the university campus in Chilliwack and you get to see the simulation rooms. You get to practice nursing. And we also got to visit the dental area and it's all set up like an actual dentist office. So it's a lot of really cool hands-on stuff that we get to see and work with. We're learning like cool ideas and things that I never would have learned in high school. I think I've really learned to look at things from different perspectives. Great critical thinking skills, how to think outside the box, how to be my own person. I'm planning on being a nurse, probably here in Abbotsford, maybe travel a bit and be a nurse in different hospitals around the world, different countries. Yeah, I'm so glad I did it. It was a great opportunity and I just took it and I'm so happy that I did. My name is Anish and I graduated from Health and Human Services in 2015 and I am currently in my second year of Bachelor of Arts and getting into Bachelor of Social Work for third year. This program is actually a great start. You have to be very motivated, very driven, very um, confident in what you want to be, as well as you have to have hardworking attributes and to really just be committed overall because this program does require a lot of work. But at the end of the day, it's totally worth walking across the stage. It's the best feeling you get on that graduation day and it's totally worth it. Better than that, it's a tuition paid for free and it's the year done. It's an automatic entrance to second year and you're mature, you're you know, you're ready for it. Whereas your peers are still entering the system, they're still experiencing their hardships, but you, you have dealt with them, right? So you're on top of the game. You get to play with fire. Good people, good money. Obviously, right out of school, you're making $18 an hour, you know? So that's, that's way better than working somewhere else for minimum wage. My uh, career counselor uh, told me in grade 10, and I was really interested because the year before in grade 9, I did some welding in my mechanic shop, and uh, I was doing pretty well at it, so I thought I might as well make a career out of it. It's definitely a good jump to get into it right away, and then that sets a stone in your life where you can uh, just excel and you're kind of ahead of everybody. 
It's usually the frame is uh, pretty much put together and I just kind of do odds and ends and put in cross members and uh, uh, brackets and gussets and stuff like that. Weld those up and uh, pretty much off and shipped out and ready for paint. It seems really little at first and then when you look at the finished product it's like wow, I can't believe that I kind of did something to that to make it look so uh, cool. It's a, it's a good feeling. Yeah. My name is Ariane Dixon and I'm a stylist at Knockout's Hair and Body Studio. I love like meeting new people and seeing them come in the door and maybe they're having like a bad day and then they walk out and they feel beautiful about themselves and that's like the best part. And then I get to create art on them every day. So to me it doesn't feel like a job at all. I heard about it while I was in high school at Moet through like my career planning courses. They had mentioned some almost free education, so that drove me in right away. <laughs> and also that I got to leave high school with a trade. It was more than just an elective. And before I graduated high school, I was working in a hair salon. So the money was already better than, you know, working at a minimum wage job or something like that. It's like going to a real beauty school, but you don't pay for it. Beauty schools run anywhere from like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars which is a lot of money. <laughs> uh, you're getting the same education for free, basically. I would recommend it to anybody that's interested in beauty. I was in um, planning class in high school, and one of the counselors came in and came to talk to us about all the different trade and career programs that we could take. The, what caught my eye was when they said, you can take this for free and not have to pay for it. You learn extensively about um, Microsoft Word, so you do Office, you do Excel, you do Access, and you spend a lot of time doing bookkeeping and um, keyboarding especially. There's also Office procedures and web-based communications, so you learn how to act and perform professionally in an office. You know how to present yourself as a professional. But here, everyone wants to be here. You'll need these skills anyways. You'll learn them at some point in your life. These aren't just things that you forget. I do, I recommend this program to anyone. Working in a fast-paced kitchen is kind of crazy because you're constantly doing something, but at the same time, it's really like invigorating. It feels good to have accomplished that. Like once a rush is over at work, it feels like amazing that you've done. You serve so many people. Creating food, especially if it's fun and like it looks good. I like working on the presentation, the little details and things like that. Right now I currently work at Broder's Bistro as a line cook. I was able to get hired because I already had a Mosa Pro Cook one done when I was hired. So they knew I was serious about cooking. I've learned so much being in this program. The chef teacher is really smart. I would definitely recommend doing this program. I think it's a great opportunity for those who are interested in being a chef because it's well, it's free and then you get university and high school credits and even if you're not thinking of being a chef, it's really good for just expanding your culinary skills. I've always liked mechanics, working with cars and uh, fixing, fixing things. I thought, oh, it's free, might as well, might not try it. And if worst comes to worst, at least I got a trade under my belt and uh, yeah, you can always fall back on it, so why not? The program gave me basic all amount of knowledge to uh, pop up the hood of the car and figure out what I'm doing, know what I'm looking at. Before, when I opened up the hood, you wouldn't know what's what. I don't know what that orange bottle in the corner is, who knows, right? Before that program, I didn't know how to lift a car up, never dealt with a hoist before. Super practical uh, skills. I love working on cars. It doesn't just stop an automotive. There's boats, there's everything else that do with engines. You know, it's, it's Tons of different trades you can go. You can do a heavy duty if I wanted. Might might do that eventually. Yeah, a whole new world of opportunities going through that program for sure. It's awesome to start from scratch. It's just so satisfying to see from what it was to what it became, and just the finished product it just makes you feel really good. Saying I finished that. I built that myself. The ACIP program here at uh, Abbotsford Senior Secondary School is a six-month program. They give you two textbooks to go through. It teaches 
you basic carpentry and uh, the skills and also the green building component of it. Teaches you saving material and uh, barriers between moisture and heat, thermal barriers as well for housing and how the weather affects housing and building itself as well. Experiences here, they got me my level one certificate here and also my green building and they just taught me all the skills I needed to walk onto a job site with a resume and a hard hat and boots and tell them what uh, the employer wanted to hear so they know that you're qualified to do the job and definitely gave me the skills to pursue my dream job as a firefighter like my father ahead of me and uh, it's really pushed me in and got me into the door with Abbotsford Fire Department. At grade 11, I decided I just wanted to finish my, all my schooling and start my career right off the bat. So that's why I decided to pick the uh, electrical program. I am on my level three right now at UFV in Chilliwack. In the uh, program, you do half a hands-on training in the shop and then the other half of the class, you are in the classroom. When you uh, finish the program, you get a certificate for your first year of your electrical apprenticeship. You actually learn how to wire circuits. You learn how to hook up breakers, put breakers up. You start learning code rules. You do motor control, make your own motor circuits for reverse motors. You're working and you complete a task. You actually get to see the product work and work properly. It's very rewarding. Yeah, I have one more year and I go back in December finish it and then I'm a journeyman. I would recommend this to anybody. You um, get ahead of a lot of your peers by starting early. Get out and if you don't think it's worth it now, you'll definitely figure it out in a year or two. I just love the construction industry. There's just always a demand for it. No matter what you're taking in construction, there will always be a need for that trade or skill. The specific program I took with architectural drafting design, it, it teaches you everything about construction. All that information that they teach you in the first month on paper and pen, you apply it with the computer program and it all makes sense what you're drawing. Every line will make sense. And more than anything, it was the biggest confidence boost I have ever had. The doors are unlimited. What are open up to you from this one program, it's like a free year of university, right? And it all starts with your high school. My name is Brooke Rideau and I went through the horticulture ASA program in high school. I heard about it in my horticulture class in high school. I took it for the first time in grade 12 and I didn't know what I wanted to do after I graduated. They were offering free school <laughs> and it was with plants and I like plants so I went with it and I ended up really liking it. School was great but then when I actually got to go do the hands-on learning there was just so much more and it was just like I got out of the classroom and I didn't have to sit. It was Fun. Horticulture has so many different things that you can do. My teacher always said that horticulture is a mashup between science and art. There's plenty of jobs with just working with your hands. There's plenty of business opportunities, science, research, art, like florists. This was a really good platform to get myself into the workforce and get some background. Um, but I think I want to go back and I think I want to build on top of what I already know. Hello, my name is Natasha Snellgrove and I am working on my private pilot's license through Coastal Pacific Aviation through the private pilot's licensing program. Ever since I won my first glider flight, I knew that there was nothing else I wanted to do except for aviation and flying an aircraft. I was at Rakansas Secondary School and I met Ian Newton. He was such a huge inspiration as well. In terms of aviation, we basically did a lot of ground school and his classes and he had the most amazing stories and basically inspired all of us. In ways that it taught me, it challenged me in different ways and understanding how much other areas there are in the aviation industry where it's not just flying, there's also air traffic controller, there's also mechanics, there's a variety of different things that you could do. And it's quite amazing to see all the opportunities that are out there and available for especially students in high school who aren't really sure where they want to go and directing their future. It's a really, really fun place to explore. I would love to be a helicopter pilot one day and work with some sort of mission or organization in other places in the world in different countries to help with refugees who don't have food, to transport medical equipment, water and stuff like that. I don't have any words to describe it. I'm just like, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get to go back in the air because I really miss it.